16 miles west of the Alaskan mainland, pilots Jared Cummings and Jason Wilson are navigating a 208 over the cracking sea ice. The island of Little Diomede is now within close range. Uh, it looks like our landing area down there. I'm going to go come around it. OK. So we'll do a couple passes there and check it out. Yeah. With the ice runway in sight, Jared circles the 208 around the island to get a better look. Diamond air traffic here at 21. We're just on the south side of the island here. Come around from the uh, island to the north. There's Diamond, the village. We're right over the town. Look at the ride. Somebody's gone to Russia. See the trail across the ice? Do you believe that? That's Russia, so stay, stay close to the island. Jared must circle cautiously without crossing the date line, entering into Russian airspace. So let's kind of stay here on the east side of the island when we circle down. Now you look down at the sea ice, this is what we're landed on. See how buckled and cracked and rough it is out there? You also got to figure in that if you need to use your brakes on ice and water, you're not going to have any. Luckily, the caravan, you can reverse the prop blades on it, and you got beta in reverse if you need it. The 208 caravan's adjustable pitch propeller allows the pilot to change the amount of air the prop moves without varying the speed of the engine. Decreasing the pitch below zero degrees will cause the propeller to push the air towards the front of the plane instead of the rear giving the aircraft the ability to reverse. This enables the pilot to use the prop to stop the airplane instead of the wheel brakes and give the 208 the ability to land on runways that are too slippery for other aircraft. Once we land and get out, you're going to hear this ice buckle and crack and snap. Um, we probably don't want the plane to sit in one place for too long. Start to sink the ice a bit there. You know, if it moves, we've lost the plane. I wouldn't land too far down on that end. It's close to the water. It's pretty close. Coming up on final here. Afternoon, uh, Barry. Is there a 21? What was it looking like out there? Standing water on the uh, sides of the runway. It's really quick. Standing water indicates the ice runway is well on its way to melting. And Jared and Jason must take extra precautions when the tires of their 208 touch down. The airplane approaches the runway. Large cracks in the ice come into view. Oh, see that crack? Yeah. Jared must now rely on his off-airport expertise to land on the treacherous ice runway. Oh, my God. 